Hi there, it's Deb Sellers and I'm here with Christine Bessler and we're here to talk mortgage talk. Um, Christine, how are you? Oh, I'm great and I'm excited. What would you like to know today? Well, it's interesting. Um, I've had a lot of buyers that have come uh, and have gotten pre-approved uh, and then they run out and, and are thinking about getting a new job at the same time. And <laughs> so my first question to you are, what can we give advice on as far as do's and don'ts once you are pre-approved and you're actively looking to purchase a new home? Well, let's go back to the job situation, right? So let's say you're going to take a job that makes a salary of blank and it's going to make the same salary, maybe a little bit more. Well, great. Go ahead. Do it. Job changes don't, don't matter in that case. But what if you are changing from a salary job to a job that's based on very little salary, big commissions? Well, now you got to wait two years before we can actually utilize that, that the commission income. We do it with an average of two years. So that's going to put you in a really hard spot um, changing like that. Or if you're salaried and then you decide, I'm going to go self-employed. Well, we're still waiting two years. So um, jobs perspective, you know, yes, you can change, but really talk to your loan officer and see how that's going to affect before you, before you make that job change. Don't take it on yourself to figure it out. That's what we're here for. Um, things not to do. Oh, please don't go buy a Range Rover. It's not the time. Uh, buy the car after the house. We need as much debt to income ratio as possible, uh, which means we, we need as little debt as possible. So you have the most amount of room to buy your house. Hope that makes sense. Yes, uh, and, and making sure probably that your payments are on time uh, on your current rent or other property mortgage payment, correct? They check 12 months to make sure you've been on time with your rent. Um, and other than that, yes, keep your debts small. Make sure that your credit limit, let's say your credit limit is 10,000 on a card, needs to be at 30%. You want to do that because you want to have the best score possible. So why not, right? The max you should have on that card is 3000 before you should say, I can't use that card. I need to use a different card. Make sense? Yes. I mean, there's so many do's and don'ts. Um, if you have questions, let us know. We'd be happy to get on a call, discuss it further with you. Please let us know. Christine, it's always such a pleasure having you come in and talk about all the things. There's just so much information and misinformation that's out there. So really yeah. do appreciate it. Uh, oh, again, I appreciate you. Yes. It's great to get it out there. Yes. Great. Thank you so much. And please give us a call. Thanks so much.